Sam, how long have you been using high rate in your central fill? Four or five years. Have you been successful with high rate? Yes, but there's a few key components that we have to go through to be successful uh, with high rate, and we'll go over them today. First thing you want to do when you're going to plant high rate is get rid of these necks here in the planter unit in the box. Um, it's going to fill the box all the way to the top and it's just one less obstacle for the seed to get hung up and it'll really help the flow ability out of there. First thing I do every morning uh, is give the housing here a couple of good whacks and it's going to loosen up all the talc that's stuck up in there from the previous day or night and it's going to save your fan motor. Probably the biggest component you want to look out for when planting high rate is every once in a while, every three, two, three days, open this trap up and clean all this out. There'll be a pretty good buildup of talc down here and you're going to want to get, make sure that's all nice and clean so you got free flowability of the seed uh, so it does not get hung up in that. After you get all this good and clean from the talc and any buildup, I take a bottle of graphite and squirt it in each one of these holes here all the way throughout the planter and then I take and set the planter down so the air can blow it with no seed in it throughout the tubes to coat the tube and to help the flowability of the seed throughout it. Another key area to watch is these hoses here. They'll get egg shaped and you need to make sure that they always are truly round and if they are not that's a hose that either needs to be spliced to get rid of that egg shape or replace the whole tube. Every time I fill up uh, with high rate, I usually fill it up to about six inches of seed in the bottom and then I squirt graphite over the top of that and then I'll dump my more, more seed in and put my talc in with that seed and it'll keep the flowability going with it.